Shalom Amakim. This is Jamar Cobb, the Grand Rapids Camp, giving all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. And I wanted to go into a little lesson concerning the pride of Israel and basically the pride of the two thirds is basically what it is. But no further ado, I'm going to get right into it. Uh, the first scripture is Judges 7 and 2. And the Lord said unto Gideon, The people that are with thee are too many for me to give the Midianites into their hands, lest Israel vaunt themselves against me, saying, Mine own hand hath saved me. Now, well, now therefore go to proclaim in the ears of the people, saying, Whosoever is fearful and afraid, let him return and depart early from Mount Gilead. Gilead. And there returned of the people twenty and two thousand, and there remained ten thousand. And the Lord said unto Gideon, The people are too are yet too many. Bring them down to the water, and I will try them for thee there. And it shall be that of whom I say unto thee, This shall go with thee, and the same shall go with thee, and whomsoever I say unto thee, This shall not go with thee. The same shall not go. So he brought down the people unto the water, and Yahweh said unto Gideon, Let one that lappeth of the water with his tongue as a dog lappeth, him shall thou set by himself. Likewise, every one that bowed down unto his knees to drink. And the number of them that lappeth putting their hand to their mouth there were three hundred were there were the were three hundred men like you but all the rest of the people bowed down upon their knees to drink the water and the Lord said unto Gideon by the three hundred men that left will I save you and deliver the Midianites into thine hand and let all the other people go every man to his place now, basically, it said in the first scripture that I have read why the Lord did this. Because Israel would get proud, you know, saying, Mine own hand has saved me. Because the Israelites, you know, anybody that get that pride in them, the Lord don't is not dealing with them, you know. I'm going to go to the, the next scripture. This is Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 10. And when thou hast eaten and art full, then thou shalt bless Yahweh thy power for the good land which which he giveth thee. Beware that beware that thou forget not Yahweh thy power, in not keeping his commandments and his judgments and statutes which I command thee this day. Lest when thou hast eaten and art full and hast built goodly houses and dwell therein. And when the herds and the flocks multiply, the silver and the gold is multiplied, and all that thou hast has multiplied, then thine heart be lifted up, and thou forget Yahweh thy power, which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. And that, and that's basically it. Anytime Israel, Israelites, you Negroes, Indians, Latino people get a little substance, you think you did it by your own hand or you did it by yourself. When the truth is, it's the Lord that did it for you. And you forget about the Lord when you get that substance. This is Isaiah chapter 10 verse 20. And it shall come to pass in the day that the remnant of... And it shall come to pass... In that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote him, but shall stay upon Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty power. For, for, thou, for though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant shall, be, shall return, and the consumption decreed shall overflow with righteousness because the Lord is only dealing with a remnant a small number because that pride has really already seeped into most of you Israelites to be exact the two-thirds of you Israelites got that pride where you uh, 
where you'll say to yourself you don't believe in the Heavenly Father or you don't believe the truth or you don't um, believe there's a God or whatever the heck is going through your crazy mind you know so the Lord is only dealing with a remnant and that remnant is the one-third and the elect the 144,000 this is first Timothy 3 and 6 not a novice lest being lifted up with pride he fall into the condemnation of the devil and actually a whole lot of you Israelites out there that's making your own groups that's what you did you became you were novices and you got lifted up with pride and fell into the condemnation condemnation of the devil you know like you can just do this on your own no you just got lifted up with pride and now the Lord is not dealing with you this is James chapter 4 verse 5 do ye think that the scripture saith in vain the spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth at the envy but he giveth more grace wherefore he saith the most high resisteth the proud but giveth grace unto the humble so all you cats out there and you know who you are you Israelites that know you Israelites that then got lifted up with pride and tried to Hmm. make your own camps and stuff hey the Lord is not dealing with you that's that pride in you you know and he's resisting you no matter how many scriptures you know he's just not dealing with you because you couldn't humble yourself First Peter chapter 5 verse 5 likewise ye younger submit yourselves unto the elder Yea, all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility for the most high resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble and that's just to repeat the point that I just made and this should ring in your ears submit yourself to the elder we already know who the elders are you know they're calling themselves the, well they're called the apostles nowadays you know the apostles of great millstone and yes all of you other Israelite groups if you have any humility or humbleness in you you would submit yourselves to the apostles of great, great millstone because they're teaching the whole truth and that's where you fall in line under hey, the proof is already in the pudding this is Isaiah 10 and 10 as my hand hath found the kingdoms of the I of Slaki, as my hand hath found the kingdoms of the idols, and whose graven images did excel them in Jerusalem and of Samaria. Shall I not as I have done to the Samarians and her idols so do to Jerusalem and her idols? Wherefore it shall come to pass that when the Lord hath performed his whole work unto Mount Zion and on Jerusalem I will punish the fruit of the stout heart of the king of Assyria and the glory of his high look for he saith, by strength of my hand I have done it and by my wisdom for I am prudent and I and I have removed the bounds of the people and I have robbed their treasures and I have put down their inhabitants like a valiant man and my hand hath found as a nest the riches of the people and as one gathereth eggs that are left I have gathered all the earth and there was none that moved the wing or opened the mouth or peep shall the axe boast itself against him that hew therewith or shall the saw magnify itself against him that shaketh it as if a rod should shake itself against them that lift it up or as if a staff should lift up itself as if it were no wood now therefore shall Yahweh, the Lord of hosts or armies send among his fat ones leanness and under his glory he shall kindle a burning light the burning of a fire now that's really referring to Esau and the Edomites you know the wicked and it, but it's also referring to you Israelites man you Israelites with your other gods and all your pride that you have you know like can you basically we're the axe and the Lord is swinging us as an axe what is the axe gonna get proud against the one that's swinging it you know so you can understand and this is real this is all in the scriptures you know so you know 
leave off that pride. It's one of the reasons why Esau is going to be destroyed. That pride. This is 2 Corinthians 4 and 5. For we preach not ourselves, but Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, and ourselves, your servants, for Yahweh Shai's sake. And that that's really pretty much plain. We preach not ourselves. We preach Yahweh Shai. Because this word is not bring it, being brought out by ourselves. It's actually being brought out by the spirit of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, lest, lest any man get proud and say he's, he's doing something, you know. First Samuel 14 and 6 and Jonathan said to the young man that bear his armor come let us go over the garrison of these uncircumcised it may be that Yahweh will work for us for there is no restraint in Yahweh to save by many or by few in other words the Lord can save by many or he can save by few the thing is when he saves by many you Jakes out there get proud and think that you done something when you haven't done anything it was the Lord that saved you you know that's why he deals with that small remnant so there can be no doubt who who did the saving and there is no doubt who did the saving even if he saved by many that's if you are um, if you're a spiritual man this is 2nd Chronicles 26 and 13 and under their hand was an enemy, 300,000 and 700,000. And this is just another story. So you can understand uh, that, that pride, man. And 7,500 that made war with, with mighty power to help the king against the enemy. And Uzziah prepared for them throughout all the whole shields and spears and helmets and har and har harbor guillons and bowls and slings to cast stones and he made in Jerusalem engines invented by cutting men to be on the towers of the bulwarks to shoot arrows and great storms withal and his name spread far and abroad for he was marvel marvel marvelously helped till he was strong but when he was strong his heart was lifted up to his destruction for he transgressed against Yahweh his power and went into the temple of Yahweh to burn incense upon the altar of incense and Azariah the priest went in after him and with him fourscore priests of Yahweh there that were valiant men and they withstood Uzziah the king and said unto him it, it pertaineth not unto thee Uzziah to burn incense unto Yahweh but to the priests the sons of Aaron that are consecrated to burn incense go out of the sanctuary for thou hast trespassed neither shall it be for thine honor from Yahweh thy power from the Yahweh our power Then Uzziah was wroth and had a censer in his hand to burn incense. And while he was wroth with the priest, leprosy even rose up upon his forehead before the priest in the house of Yahweh from beside the incense altar. And Azariah, the chief priest, and all the priests looked upon him, and behold, he was leprous in his forehead, and they thrust him out from thence. Yea himself hasted also to go out because because Yahweh had smitten him and Uzziah the king was a leper until the day of his death and dwelt in uh, and dwelt in a several house being a leper for he cut off for he was cut off from the house of Yahweh and Jotham and hidden Jotham his son was over the king's house judging the people of the land now the rest of the acts of Uzziah and the last did Isaiah the prophet son of Amos write now that's a story to show you how the Lord deals with pride you know he lifted him up he um, had him save Israel then he was lifted up with pride like he could just go and do whatever he want he could light incense to the Lord because hey the Lord lifted him up to save Israel 
priest told him no because it wasn't his lot he tried to do it anyway and then the Lord smote him with a leprosy and until the day he died because he got lifted up with pride he cut him off you know and that's why the Lord is dealing with that remnant the Lord is not dealing with a lot of people and even though even he was dealing with that remnant when that ref if you if you get proud and buck up hey the Lord is gonna deal with you man the Lord is gonna deal with you And this is uh, the last scripture, 1 Samuel 2 and 8. He raised up the poor out of the dust. He lifted up the beggar from the dunghill to set him among princes and, and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are Yahweh's, and he, and he has set the world upon them. He will keep the feet of his saints, and the wicked shall be in silence for by strength no shall no man prevail and you know that's plain by strength no man shall prevail you know I know the scriptures say uh, what is it um, bodily exercise profit little profits a little you know you can get a little accomplished with bodily exercise you know you know you'll be in better health and so on and so forth but by your strength you ain't going you can't save yourself you can't save nobody you can't do anything it's by the strength of the lord that we do all these things matter of fact the things that we're doing even right now you know when we're going out there prophesying that's by the strength and will of yahweh bashim yahweh shot it's not of ourselves so you know for any of you brothers who get lifted up with pride thinking you know something remember that knowledge is not yours that knowledge is actually the lord's given to you to serve a purpose so don't get lifted up with pride and with that, I'm going to say Shalom, uh, double honors to the apostles, honors and salutations to you brothers doing the work in truth and sincerity. Shalom.